Hello, everybody. So we're going to start Chapter 5. And our first lesson is um, breaking apart ones to subtract. We're on page 229 of the second grade Go Math textbook. Okay, so our essential question today is how does breaking apart a number making subtracting easier? So one thing we need to know is um, what are two ways we can add up to get seven? In other words, how can we break apart seven or nine or five? What are some numbers that add up to give us seven? So what I want you to do is look at each of these, okay? And I want you to write a pair of add-ins that would give us this sum. In other words, we want some math facts, right? All right, so addition, math facts. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and write in two numbers. If you can think of other pairs, write them underneath. See how many pairs you can come up with that would give you a sum of seven. All right, go ahead and pause the video. All right, so did anybody do seven and zero? That would work. How about six and one? Or five and two? Or four and three? Okay. So what do you notice about these as, as we have these different add in pairs? That every time one of our numbers decreases, the other add in increases by one. So if I start at seven and zero and then decrease the seven by one, then I'd have to add one. If I decrease the seven by two, I'd have to add two, so on, okay? All right, how about nine? What'd you come up with for nine? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start nine and zero again. And then I'm gonna go eight and one and seven and two, and six, and three, and five, and four, okay? So there were five possibilities for nine. Any of these would be correct. Any of these five possibilities would work for nine, okay? Five. Well, let's, let's do two, and three. Does it matter which way we put the numbers in the box? Could I have three here and two here? Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter which order we add our add-ins, okay? Um, how about one and four? Or zero and five? Did any of you do three and three? That would work. How about four and two? Or five and one? Or six and zero? And again, it doesn't matter whether I have the two on this side or on this side, as long as I have the combination of four and two. Four. Okay, well, we know two and two adds up to four. We know three plus one is four. We know four plus zero is four. How about eight? What if we start with eight and zero? Or seven and one? Six and two? Five and three? And four? and four, okay. so those are all possibilities. All right, so now why did we, I said that the title of our lesson was break apart once to subtract, so why are we coming up with sums? Well, we're gonna take, we're gonna break apart a one to make subtracting easier. So let's look at this, 63 minus seven, well, we know we can break up seven into two different numbers. What would I have to subtract from 63? 
to make 63 a 10? 3, right? 63 minus 3. That would put you at 60. And then we'd still have to subtract 4. Okay, so it makes sense here to break 7 into 3 and 4 because we want to make the 63 into a 10. It makes it easier to subtract. And then we can think of it as on, non, on a number line. We're starting at 63, and we subtracted 3 to start. 1, 2, 3. So we're at a 10, right? 60, 6 tenths. And now we have to subtract 4. We still have to go back 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're at 56. So 63 minus 57 is 56. Okay, now as we go through this, this is going to be just one method for subtracting. Okay? There will be other methods that we talk about. And eventually you just use the method that makes sense, most sense to you. Break apart once to subtract and write the difference. 55 minus 8. What do we have to subtract from 55 to make a 10, to make it a 10? Well, we have to subtract the same number that we have in the ones place. So 5 and 5 plus what is 8? 5 plus 3. Okay, so we're going to break 8 into 5 and 3. 55 minus 5. So if we start over here at 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, we're back. We're at a 10, 50, and subtract 3 more. 1, 2, 3. So 47. 42 minus 5. So they're saying let's break 5 into 2 and 3. Why? Why are we using 2 and 3 and not 4 and 1? Because we want to subtract the same number of 1s that are in 42. Because 2 take away 2 will give us 0. So that would make us 40. Okay? So whatever the number in the 1s place is, that's what we want to subtract. We want one of the add-ins to be the number that's in the 1s place from what we're subtracting from. All right, so 42. Take away 2. We're at 40. And we still have to take away 3. 1, 2, 3. So 37. 41 minus 9. Okay, the ones digit is 1. So 1 plus what is 9? 8. 41 minus 1. 41 minus 1 is 40. And now we have to subtract 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 32. 53 minus 6. 3 is in the 1 place, so we want to break 6 into 3 and 3. 53 minus 3 is 50. 1, 2, 3. And we still have to subtract 3. 1, 2, 3. 47. 44 minus 7. There's 4 in the 1's place, so we want to break 7 into 4 and 3. 44 minus 4 is 40. Now subtract 3 from 40. So we're at 40, subtract 3. 39, 38, 37. Okay, so just go back 3. 52 minus 8. We want to subtract 2 first. 52 minus 2 is 50. Now 50 minus 6. 50 minus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 44. Let's look at page 231. 75 minus 7 equals what? 5 is in the 1 place. So we're going to break, split 7 into 5 and 2. 75 minus 5 is 70. And 70 minus 2 is 68. 86 minus 8. So we're going to break the 8 into 6 and 2. Why? Because there's 6 1s that will make 86 into a 10. 86 minus 10, 6 is 80. Eighty six minus six is eighty, and eighty minus two is seventy eight. 
82 minus 5. We want one of the add-ins to be 2, so we can subtract 2 from 82 to get us 80, and now subtract 3. 80 minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 77. 83 minus 7. 83 minus 3 is 80. 80 minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 72 minus 7. What are the two numbers we're going to break the 7 into? 2 and 5. Because 72 minus 2 is 70. And 70 minus 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 65. 76 minus 9. What are our two add-ins? 6 has to be one of the add-ins because 76 minus 6 is 70. So 6 and 3. So if we're at 70 now because we made it into a 10, we need to still subtract 3. 1, 2, 3, 67. 85 minus 8. The two add-ins. One of the add-ins must be a 5. And the other add-in is 3. 85 minus 5 is 80. And 80 minus 3 is 1, 2, 3, 77. 71 minus 6. We want one of the add-ins to be a 1. The other add-in will be 5. 71 minus 1 is 70. And now subtract 5 from 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 65. All right. Think smarter. Cheryl brought 27 bagels for the bake sale. Mike brought 24 bagels. They sold all but nine of them. How many bagels did they sell? How many bagels did they sell? Well, Cheryl brought 27. Mike brought 24. They sold all but nine. So there's nine left over from what they brought. Well, let's find out how much they brought. All right. Seven and four is 11, right? We're going to regroup that as one ten and one one. Two tens plus two tens is four tens plus the regroup ten, five tens. Okay, so they brought 51 bagels. That's not our answer, though. Okay. They sold all of these 51 except for nines. So we have to do 51 minus 9. That'll tell us how many they sold. Okay, so what's one of the add-ins we want the 9 to be broken into? 1 and 8. 51 minus 1 is 50. 50 minus 8. 50 minus 8. Okay, so we're at 50. 49. 48. 47. 46. 45. 44. 43. 42. Okay, so I, so I kind of made my own number nine here, starting at 50, and I just counted back eight. That's what these numbers mean down here. I subtracted one from 50, that gave me 49. 48 minus two, uh, 50 minus two is 48, and so on. All right, so our answer is 42. How many bagels did they sell? They sold 42. All right. Lexi had eight fewer crayons than Ken. Ken has 45 crayons. How many crayons does Lexi have? So we know that she has eight fewer than Ken. Ken has 45. Well, that's just a simple subtraction problem. 45 minus 8. She has 8 less than Ken. We could also think of it 
using a bar model, where Ken has 45, and she has less than Ken. So when we have something like this, we're just going to take 45 minus 8 to get this. Or we could think, what number plus 8 is 45? But let's keep practicing our subtraction now. So one of our add-ins, if we're going to break apart 8, is 5 and 3. 5, because 45 minus 5 is 40. So 40, and we have to subtract 3. Okay, so we're at 40 already. 1, 2, 3, 37. Okay. All right, and page 232. Write or draw to explain. Cheryl built a toy train with 27 toy train cars. Then she added 18 more train cars. How many train cars? Are on the train now. How many trains are on the train toy train car train now? Sorry, on the toy train now. Well, she built it with 27 train cars, then she added 18 more. Okay, so 27 plus 18. Eight is the same as seven plus one, right? So seven and seven is 14 plus one more is 15. Regroup that. Regroup those 15 ones as one ten and five ones. And now add the tens, two, three, four. 45. Samuel had 46 marbles. He gave some marbles to a friend. So if you give something away, you no longer have that, right? So that's subtraction. And he has nine marbles left. How many marbles did Samuel give to his friend? So he had 46, but now he only has nine left. So this is what he has. This is, this is what he has now. This is what he had. So if we subtract that, we'll find out how much he gave to his friend. Okay, we want to break the 9 into two digits, into two add-ins. One of them should be a 6. And the other one's going to be 3, because 6 plus 3 is 9. 46 minus 6 is 40. And now subtract 3. 1, 2, 3. He gave away 37 marbles. And our last one for today. Matthew had 73 blocks. He gave eight blocks to his sister. How many blocks does Matthew have now? Okay, so he had 73. He gave eight blocks away. So 73 minus eight. Okay, so let's break the eight into three and 5. 73 minus 3 is 70. And now we have to subtract 5 more. 69, 68, 67, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm at 70. If I subtract 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm at 65. So he has 65 blocks now. Okay, so that's it for breaking apart add-ins to subtract. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.